Hey everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is Living in Colorado Springs and I am Alicia Armendariz. Today I'm going to be covering the top neighborhoods here in town that I feel are best for families. Overall Colorado Springs is just a great place for families in general but more so what are those communities that are really just focused on families, kiddos, dogs, whoever you love that lives with you where are the best places for you to live and be. So if you have any questions over anything that I mentioned, please feel free to reach out to me at that contact info and hit that subscribe button so you can get notified when I make new videos each week on everything that is Living Kyle Springs. But without further ado, let's get into it. So I do want to mention that all the neighborhoods that I talk about today, I have previously done videos on. So if you want to go back through after you hear me mention them, feel free to go and get a more in-depth look of those neighborhoods in particular, or I'm going to also tag them up here after I mention them. Feel free to click on that link to get a little bit more in-depth, um, like I said, more idea of the neighborhood and just more on the home prices and overall what they're uh, reselling for right now. But in no particular order, I'm gonna do these. And the first neighborhood that I wanna start with is Cordera. Cordera is located on the northeast side of town, kind of just off of Powers Boulevard, which is also Highway 21 here in town. You can kind of find it um, east of Powers Boulevard, kind of sits between Briargate Parkway and then also Research Parkway. It is a growing community. There still is a lot of building going on. They actually have seven builders out there right now that are just putting up homes left and right. Some of my favorite builders are actually out there, Toll Brothers, Saddle Tree. But um, it is just a very popular area for families. And I think that is because their whole motto is Cordera means community sense. And by that, they really just wanted to embrace the family, you know, aspect of togetherness and they kind of just demonstrated this through the master planning of the community you could see it with the individual parks that are kind of spread out through the neighborhoods there are several trails that just run between the different little subdivisions of it to all the different schools elementary school middle schools they have these pedestrian underpasses that are just these very large trails that go under some of the main roads here in town uh, union being one of them that's just a very busy main road that you're going to use to get in and out of the community and therefore they wanted to encourage the kiddos and the families to be able to walk to school, to walk to their friend's house, just walk around the community to all those different parks and to be able to walk to the community center. The community center in Cordera is a very large facility that offers uh, gym equipment, uh, one or two pools, fitness classes, just a lot of variety for things to do when you come to the uh, community center. They also have something at the community center called the Grand Lawn. And the Grand Lawn is about five acres, just big old open wide space of uh, yard. And this is where they have a lot of their summer music concerts. This is where they have a lot of just community get togethers. They do a lot of things that try and involve the community such as, you know, uh, kick off the school lunch, um, there's a father-daughter dance, they have potlucks, they have a football kickoff Sunday uh, thing that they do, they have Easter egg hunt, I mean you name it, they really try and embrace the families in that area for all the holidays and then just in general just so that they can come and meet each other. Some of the classes that I know that the community center offers is a, a book club, like I said there's fitness classes, there's art classes for adults and kiddos. So. They have all this stuff on their website. They have all this stuff in their community Facebook page that once you become a resident, you can join the Facebook page where I know that they just have a large amount of information and just sharing of helpful tips, neighborhood tips, um, get togethers and things of that sort. Another way that the Cordera community really try to keep with everyone, kind of know everybody, is the layout of the community. A lot of the community is done kind of in cul-de-sacs. You'll, I get more into this in my other video about the neighborhood, but you kind of drive down a street and then it turns into a cul-de-sac and then that way everybody just kind of has a smaller, uh, close-knit group of neighbors that they can get to know and, you know, they have little mini block parties on their cul-de-sacs. Uh, the landscaping and architecture they kind of try and keep the same um, with each cul-de-sac so 
I can get more into that, but that is kind of a unique aspect that they really try and keep that close knit feel with how just the community is laid out, not only with those cul-de-sacs, but with those trails that just run all over the neighborhood. A lot of the homes in Cordera are going to be in District 20 here in town. And if you guys have saw my, saw my other videos, I talk about District 20 a lot. It is a very large school district here in town, but it is one of our best. They have a large variety of schools that you can choose from, elementary, middle school, high school. But a lot of the parents, not only do they just love the attention that their kids get, District 20 is also known for having trades programs. So if you just know your kid's not gonna go to college or they just don't wanna go to college or whatever, um, they actually do offer a lot of trade programs. And some of those trade programs are the cybersecurity program. They have a mechanical kind of automotive program that I actually hear is really popular with a lot of the students. So that's just definitely something that I see a lot of the kids and parents gravitate to. And that is just another perk of why families love living in Cordera because you have access to that District 20 area. The next community that I wanna mention is Banning Lewis Ranch. Banning Lewis Ranch sits a little north of Cordera, about a couple miles. It also sits to the east of Powers Boulevard and off of Woodman Road. Banning Lewis Ranch is just a really beautiful master plan community. It's been now expanding for the last maybe five to 10 years, probably more like 10 years, but it is just growing rapidly. They also have some of my favorite builders out there. I'm gonna say there's probably about four or five right now, Oakwood Homes being the biggest one, but they just have a lot to off offer with the community aspect also. This community also has trails that just run through the entire neighborhood. You can get from the local schools to the local water park. Yes, this community does have the Vista Water Park, which is open the majority of the summer, uh, Labor, maybe Memorial Day to Labor Day, and does consist of a small water slide and a, kind of a kiddie pool and then a normal size pool. The community also has large parks throughout uh, the neighborhood that sit in different suburbs, and then also a pickleball court, a basketball court, and several other things. They have a main community clubhouse, but then they also have clubhouses within the smaller subdivisions. So there's just a lot of options for you to go. These clubhouses consist of family get-togethers, uh, kiddo activities, like I said, the basketball courts, the pickleball courts. Um, they also have that large grass area where they also do summer concert series once a month. You know, they have a local band come out and they play for everyone that wants to come out in the community. They do things like a pig roast, they do uh, back to school events, kind of very similar to Cordera, but just definitely still a different feel um, with those different builders and just a different area of the town. So another perk that I know families like being out there is that you are also very close to a lot of pediatric hospitals and just hospitals in general. One of them being the St. Saint Francis Medical Hospital, which is actually just down the road. It's one of our largest facilities here in town. Um, heaven forbid anyone ever need to use the services, but there are pediatric and major hospitals nearby. Banning Lewis Ranch also has um, a really great aspect of senior living and you wouldn't know it just driving around the community because these don't look like senior homes. It is a 55 plus community and that is called The Retreat at Banning Lewis. And these homes just look like every other home in the area. They're beautiful, they're mostly ranch style homes, but they also just wanted to kind of give that feel of like, if you need to be close to the grandparents or you just wanna be close to in-laws, they can be right there in the community. They don't have to be living in your house, but they can be right there in the community. Banning Lewis Ranch has a beautiful facility for those 55 plus, um, very active. They have their own clubhouse, so if they wanted to use the gym, the pool, they don't need to go to the major one, or the, the big one, I should say, where there's possibly you know kiddos splashing around, getting on your nerves. The 55 plus, they do have their own clubhouse, but they also just have a lot of perks being, um, with a new area, they have new restaurants, new grocery stores, new gas stations, just new shopping center in general. They have new schools. 
Banning Lewis Ranch does sit in District 49 where they do have their own elementary school, middle school, high school, but then they also have a preparatory kind of private school that is kindergarten through 12th grade. So a lot of options there for the kiddos. Now, if we jump to the west side of town, we're gonna to come across Gold Hill Mesa. Gold Hill Mesa is about 10 years old and just also kind of has a big community center in the middle of it with a large lawn. And there they do summer uh, concerts and they have a community garage sale. They do a 4th of July kickoff um, with music and activities, things of that sort. This area is really nice because it is very close to Bear Creek Regional Park, which is a big park for kiddos. It also has a large off-leash dog park for your little fur babies. You're also very close to um, Highway 24, which can get you into Manitou Springs and then also just close to downtown or the interstate if you need to get around. You are technically in District 11, but you are close enough to District 12, which is Cheyenne Mountain, um, middle school, high school, all of that, that you could opt into. Nothing wrong with District 11, but Besides District 20 up north, District 12 is probably one of our more popular districts. And as I said, you are close enough being in Gold Hill Mesa that you could opt in to District 12 and send your kids to Cheyenne Mountain Middle School and High School just down the road. Gold Hill Mesa has beautiful views of the mountain and then also downtown, depending on where your lot sits, and also just has very walkable sidewalks and uh, a flow of the neighborhood that just makes it really easy for kids to ride their bike and mingle. Um, it's just a very close knit family that I see within Gold Hill Mesa. Everybody walks their dog, everybody's walking with their kiddos in the evening time. Definitely an area that I would consider, not only because you are so centrally located, but also just because you are so close. So, so many things that you could take your kids to do, like hiking, biking, exploring Manitou Springs, exploring, uh, we have a ghost town here, which is nearby, and then also the Dinosaur Museum, just up the road in Woodland Park. And the last area that I'm gonna mention in this video is going to be the security wide field area. Now, this area is kind of part of Fountain, which is down south and just like slightly to the east of I-25. Security wide field is very close to Fort Carson Army Base and also Peterson Air Force Base. I will say overall, this neighborhood consists of a lot of military families, but not all. But because it does have so many military families, you already off the bat have a sense of just community. The, the military here really look after one another. The city in general just, you know, looks out and appreciates what all the military do for us. So just living in that neighborhood, you're already just going to have a sense of togetherness, being a unit, being a group. And that definitely flows into their school system. Security wide field schools definitely offer a lot of um, kind of also trade programs as did uh, District 20, but security wide field, I know their trades programs are more focused, focused on kind of a military aspect, uh, coding, robotics, and they also do have a program called MIL and that really focuses on manufacturing with construction and welding. And I know right now this program was adopted from a very successful superintendent up in the Northeast area of the United States and has just been doing wonderful things down here in Colorado Springs. The ROTC program that they have also is seven time, 17 time state championship. So uh, they are able to give away a lot of scholarships and a lot of awards through some of those programs. Security Wide Field does kind of a small uh, farm feel. It's a very close knit family. Also, the homes are gonna be a little bit older, but you 
are just gonna have more of a small town feel out there. You're not so close to the mountains and you're also not surrounded by a whole bunch of new builds and uh, new landscaping. It is gonna be more of a rural feel and also just more of a homey feel. I get that feeling when I drive around the security wide field area. Well, there you go, you guys. There are my top areas for families here in Colorado Springs. Overall, Colorado Springs is a great place for a growing family, starting a family, just families in general. But I feel like these are the neighborhoods that truly started forming off of a community sense. They were being built around a community sense. These are the neighborhoods that I've had past clients tell me that they were really drawn to because of certain programs that the school offered or just the community offered. So. These are kind of just what I wanted to share with you guys. But if you do have any questions over anything that I mentioned today, again, please feel free to reach out to me. I am a licensed broker here in the state of Colorado and I would love to help you through real estate needs. And if you could hit that subscribe button and bell to get notified when I make new videos each week on everything that is Colorado Springs, I'd appreciate it. So until next time, I hope you guys have a good one.